Hey guys, it's Ray Alvarez and in this very quick video, I'm going to talk to you guys really quickly about the Flashpoint AD200, also known as the Godox Evolve 200 or the 200 Pro. They're all the same thing. Godox is the manufacturing company that manufactures these lights. The Flashpoint brand belongs to Adorama USA. In this quick video, I'm gonna show you guys how to connect and sync your AD200 using your remote trigger. We're gonna start off with the transmitter and we're gonna turn on by selecting this option here and pushing it up. Once it's on, you're gonna see a listing of different channels and groups along with the different powers. So as you can see on the top left corner here, that's going to be your channel. And that is what we're gonna work with first. We're going to sync this transmitter to this unit here by selecting the channel and the group that you wanna start with. In today's video, we're only gonna work with one group, group A. Disregard the rest of the groups and for that, I'm gonna turn them off. All right guys, so let's turn this off real quick. As you can see, we only have group A selected. I'm also gonna turn that off just so that way you guys can learn how to turn it on as well. The channel option. Some of these triggers are all different. So in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the menu button until you see different options on the bottom row. As you can see here, it says zoom channel. That's the option you guys are gonna to wanna to change. So zoom and channel is what we're going to hold. Then you're gonna see a black box surround the number where the channel is. That's exactly where you're gonna to go to change it. So set it to whatever channel you like. Um, I constantly work on channel four, so that's where we're gonna to go today. Use the circular button here to move the channels to the desired channel. Again, I'm gonna be using channel four. Then you set it by hitting the set button on the center. Now, we're on channel four, and we're gonna to go to group A. So simply, you can either hit the button. So we're gonna to go to group A. We're gonna hit mode, because right now it is currently off. Right now the power is at one over two, which is really powerful. So we're gonna switch that down to one over 128. Set it by hitting the set button. We're gonna set it off just so it can set. As you can see, this little red LED here shows that it is working. Now, we're gonna set this down. We're gonna grab the unit and we're gonna turn it on using this left button here. Again, this is the 8200 Pro by Flashpoint. So the power button might be different on some units. Look for the power button, you turn it on. All right, so same thing. This GRCH button here is the group and channel button. You're gonna hold that down until the four or the number is blinking. Once it's blinking, that means that we're gonna be changing the channel. So use the circular button to change it. We're gonna set it to four, set. Now we're gonna hit that button one time to change the group. Group B, group C, group D. We're gonna go back to A. So now that it's set to A, as you can see, the power is one over 64. We're gonna change that, and this is how. We're gonna go back to the trigger and turn it back on. I'm gonna show you how to change it, but to really quickly show you what the test button does is, you hit that test button right there, that test fire button, and it's gonna automatically change this from 128, I'm sorry, it's gonna automatically change the A164 to one over 128. Here we go. You see that? The light went off and it changed it. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hit the set button here to change the power of this light, and we're gonna set it to one over 32. As you can see, it is literally changing it as we go. We're gonna hit set one more time, and although you see it synced here, let's just make sure it's configured. We're gonna hit that test button one more time, and there it goes, one over 32. For all intents and purposes, if you want to change this to group B, we're gonna set this to group B. Group A no longer works. As you can see, it is off. So, we're gonna go to group A, turn it off. Then we're gonna to go to group B, and then we're gonna turn it on. Manual, one over four, one over four. That's very powerful, so we're gonna switch this over to one over 128. We're gonna set it, and we're gonna test it. That is how you sync 
the 8200 unit to the transmitter. Keep in mind the transmitter needs to be compatible with your brand of camera. In this case, it is compatible with the Sony, which is why that S is there. If you have an Nikon, it will have an N. And if you have a Canon or Fuji, it'll have the designated first initial of that brand here in this area. If you have any questions on how to sync this unit, on anything about this unit, I'll be more than happy to answer them in the comments. So leave a comment below if you have any questions or any feedback, give this video a like. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, I'm here to show you photo education, tutorials, vlogs, also light setups. Thank you for watching guys.